Hello and welcome everyone to part 23 of the Sparta Let's Play for Total War Rome 2. We continue during the intern phase since last time we have made our first conquest into uh, Egypt and hopefully we can continue that this turn. We'll also be looking to push uh, north uh, into Dacia to attack some of the pesky tribes that have been wandering into my provinces from afar and we'll sort them all out from from there teach them a lesson not to walk into my province they is man subversion attempt that's not very nice trying to rally the slaves uh, Iceni and the Brigantes Mercenaries research complete now, researching supply reforms. Ready for battle. We have the elephants. Mighty elephants. Can't wait to use them. Uh, I'm hoping you really get to get a chance to use them today. Um, today in this part, I should say. Um, they have so many troops coming towards me, but I don't believe any of them are particularly strong. But uh, we shall see. How can I help? And How can I serve you? Not sure I'm going to be able to take down their, their champion that easily. How can I, I am greater than mighty Achilles. But um, let's go for slaughter. Knife in the ribs. Perhaps. Knife in the ribs. Ah, damn it, he's wounded. That's <laughs> just a flesh wound. Um, let's go for that. It's got 51% for a positive outcome to poison them or at least stop them. And the enemy's wounded. There we go. Nicely done, my spy. Well done. We've avenged the warrior, the hero, but he's only wounded anyway, so he'll be back in a few turns. And my spy now gets a nice level up. Give her the critical success improvement. And hello up here. Parthia, we were gonna attack you with pikes. Ready for orders. Waiting Ready for until orders. that opportune moment. Military sabotage, let's poison provisions though, so that we can do some damage to their troops. And it's successful. They'll now lose a bit of strength with all their forces. And I will attack them with that army very shortly, but I just want to make sure I can move upon the other ones. Uh, so here, what are we going to do? What are we going to do when they come for you? Um, consecrated ground. Cattle pens, public order, but food. Yes, let's do that. This army here. Ready for battle. Normal stance. And I'm just going to declare war on them. Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be well. And now it doesn't matter if I trespass or such, because I'm actually trespassing for a good reason. None will escape. The Howling Wolves, Dacian Skirmishers. Let's see how the mighty Dacians match up to Spartan Fury. Bring it on. I will destroy you all. <laughs> Evil line heart laugh. And you guys are lucky today because if you haven't already seen, uploaded before this part, uh, should be a part of the Elves of Lorien Third Age Let's Play. It is coming back today. Um, as I said in a previous vlog in my 1000th video, Third Age, Lorien and Harad will be filtering back in randomly whenever I get time, but I'm going to bring those parts back rather than making you guys wait completely. It does astound me though, the number of you that didn't listen to me when, you know, they've been commenting on like the last part I did of the Lorien Let's Play, sort of saying, oh, you never finished this one, you just left it. Didn't leave it, I said I would come back. <laughs> but, um... You know, part of the reason is you guys wanting it to come back so badly, and also the fact that I'm misrecording it, so it will be back. Uh, it'll be back before this part actually gets uploaded. Uh, so you'll have probably had most of the day to check that out before this goes up. You have the hot plates on the flanks. 
So yeah, go check that out. If you're new to my channel and haven't seen my Elves of Lorien series, feel free to watch that part, but also feel free to check it out from the start. I know that the playlists for those aren't, uh, aren't updated, and I will be updating all my playlists, notably for the Lorien, Harad, and Empire Total War um, LPs very soon. Oh. Barbarians threaten everything that we as a people believe. Good order, honesty, justice, freedom. Kind of have my pikes spread a bit too thin. So let's put them to kind of four ranks deep. And we're going to push up with my cavalry on the right here. We've got a nice channel actually because these buildings sort of separate the enemy forces, which means I can flank ground. So look at the Dacian skirmishers as they run like crazy toward us and they've got lots of just spears my ballistas already doing a fair bit of damage and I'm going to put more explosives around just for the kind of scatter ability that they're going to have in kind of close proximity to all these units that's why I tend to favor it over the standard shot plus it does look a million times cooler just saying Okay, so they're already going around there, which means my cavalry can flank around completely. That's going to hurt. And we'll let the ballistas fire it off once more. I was kind of hoping to do a short shot. Oh, that is a good one, though. One if they can fire just close range here. No, we're going to stop them. Stop them for now. Because my hoplites can now engage the enemy all along this line. And my cav. Oh, we're dealing with some guys over there. We're going to bring the cav around like so and then swoop into the back of all my guys here. my pikes now holding as the spears attack adding a war cry against these guys a rally and inspire he's got a lot of abilities and we're now going to push out with my general just to punch through the ranks those are noble spears which I need to watch out with with my cavalry there we should have been caught up here. This is the enemy general. They look rather cool, actually. I want to see if my ballistas can just fire on this one unit here, the general's bodyguard, a few times. Yes, they can. Bring my general out because he can engage the enemy noble spears here. Oh, damn, that, that painful. Hoplites over here, smash them into the other units. Because all these guys over here are wavering. These guys marching up. And they'll meet my, uh, my Royal Spartans. Oh, they broken though? They have broken, and uh, we can end the battle there because this is for their territory. Don't need to worry about killing them all. We lost 60 men, and we managed to kill 1,796. Happy with that. That is a good result. Right in the neck. Thank you very kindly. We're going to occupy your settlement. And with that, we pushed up in here. Who are you? Um, oh, you're these guys around here. So if I take you guys out, I'll have to swoop around here. Hmm. Well, at least for now, we've taken this province. We will convert everything here now. Hmm. 
interesting if any of these had a culture conversion bonus, so I'm actually going to dismantle that one and build something that improves um, a Hellenic culture here. Cause that's what's going to be an issue for them. Although my noble here should have some form. He should have some form of conversion. Uh, 5.62 cultural influence. <clears throat> which should slowly help. I have this fleet over here which we're going to bring around here because we're going to attack these guys next with this army. So, oh, time to declare war. Um, sabotage. Just commit arson again. Why not? If that works. It's successful. I don't know what we can do here. Raid. Minor damage across the target settlement and reduces the local slave population. Or we can rally the slaves. Let's see if we can rally them just for a lull. Even if there is a slave revolt, it would just be fun to see one. Subversion successful, we've rallied the slaves. But uh, I'm not going to give them time to actually rally because we're just going to attack now. And the allies of the Seleucids, and they can't do that because they're my clients. <laughs> and they won't they won't try and attack their overlords. This is what I do like that the recent patch has added in you get one set of ladders like free. Like you uh, when you first start so you don't take so much attrition. Like you instantly get some ladders. Which is cool and it's gonna be useful here because I have no ballistas in this army, so the ladders are very much appreciated. Uh you know, I'm trying to think of, you know, how this went in like third age and stuff and it was that you you know, you could um it was the same thing though, you, you built things, built siege equipment like many turns on. I think the main thing, the reason why they added this in is so you don't get set face so much attrition because that's what's been added. Um, and in a way it's kind of fair to presume that when you first besiege a city you might actually have some siege equipment ready with you to, to you know besiege the city straight away. You wouldn't just besiege it and then sit outside it for ages. Like you would do that while you're building more siege equipment sort of thing. So this kind of makes sense that you can have some siege equipment to start with. I'm, you know, I can get that. So here we go, this uh, sort of very, very uh, Hellenistic, this Greek style city way up in the north. And we have these little bits all around the hills here. But, yes. First time I've seen this sort of city map, so this is very interesting. We've got Spartan hoplites on all of these, which is absolutely perfect. We're going to have two at the front here. And then I guess we'll have some on the side. Over there. And similarly, there must be a nice side part over here where I can go for. Uh, yeah, up here. It's kind of out, just missing a tower. We'll go... Well, deploying them there. They should be able to get onto the wall fine. So that's all my hoplites, essentially. Um, bar this one, poor chap. Uh, so he can he can fought with my general and they'll march in the centre. My pikes, they're going to be group one. We're going to wait until the my guys on the walls have opened up the gates for me, captured the gateways. We're going to have them with my slingers. That's my second group will have them slightly in front. General and that unit of hoplites at the back. And then Cav there and I've got my uh, Sarmatian Lancers which I'm very much looking forward to using. Let's actually have a look at them. Pretty cool. Uh, there's no other gates on this I don't believe on this city. Oh there is one over here so we could capture this gate and then bring the Sarmatians in that way. So we could like run along the tower. So actually yeah let's bring the Sarmatians in from over here. Is there another gate over here? No I don't think there is. I think it's just the one. Right let's begin the battle. Ladders to the walls. And what do they got up here? They've got slingers to face my Spartan hoplites. Shields up as they move in with the siege equipment. Of course, the fire damage that these uh, steppy step archers have got. 
I'm going to do some damage to my ladders. There's the step archers up here. Looking rather cool. But I think my ladders are definitely going to get to the wall long before the fire damage does does any damage, essentially. <laughs> These guys are near the wall here. Once we get them up, we can run them along, capture that tower in the corner, and then push along towards the gate. But the ladders are just reaching here. It's now against the walls. And now we're climbing. The general of that unit, or the captain of that unit going up first, like any good general should. Ready to capture the walls for the might of Sparta. And he's in there. He's in the fray already. Don't know where he is now. I'm not sure if he's actually fallen or not. But they're now up against the walls, attacking these guys there. As are these guys up over here. these guys up on the wall, we're going to bring them all the way to this tower here and with these chaps we're going to bring them over to the gate and now to defeat the defenders atop the walls we've got this militia hoplites ready to defend the gate which is actually pretty smart of them, putting them like that Tribesmen, tribesmen, militia hoplites, citizen hoplites. They are trying to destroy that ladder though, they're on fire. Due to the gates, push back in. I think my general from that unit may well have gone down. So I can't see him in there. Can't see his nice hat. So he died on the, f on the steps of the at the top. I wonder if we can find him. think that's him there. <laughs> Didn't last very long. Not sure if the one here, he's still alive, the cat's in or general here, his red cloak. Oh, sword to the gut. Nice. So we're capturing this gate over here. We're capturing that tower, but we've neutralised it, which is fine. We're capturing this tower so that won't cause any more trouble. Now we're going to charge along here, rapid advance, smash into the slingers and the step archers to help out my hoplites on the walls. Capturing those gates over here, we've captured these ones. The Sarmatian lancers can now come on in. Get my guys off the walls now. They can come on off and get over and capture that tower. So I mentioned Lance is just charged into the back of all these tribesmen here. And we have victory atop the walls. Oh, stabbed right in the gut to finish them off. Oh, and burning oil falling on the fleeing enemies. That's a bit unfortunate for them. Oh, we've got some guys just forming up here trying to stop me to take take the tower. So let's do that. Hello, Sarmatian Lancers. Along you come. One of you is going to come along to here. And the other one will charge from here. We have captured a tower. I have this tower. I'm going to bring my hoplites down over this side to smash into them from the other side. We're not going to advance from the front just yet because my Sarmatian Lancers can do all that. They have the trample ability, of course. Advance 
Use the trample ability on both and sit back, relax, and enjoy. As this becomes a charging bloodbath. Well, without the blood. Hopefully blood soon. Very soon. Caught between my two cavalry forces. That has got to hurt. And now with these lances, I'm going to quickly pull them away to attack these guys down here. And these guys are actually being drowned by their own burning oil. Which has got to hurt. So I'm not going to get my lances to chase after them. We'll focus on killing the enemy general though. If we can get another quick charge in with the cavalry, I'm not sure how effective it will be. Reasonably actually, they managed to get their lances down. And so now with the Sarmatian lance, I'm going to bring them up to the town square here. Let's bring these lances out of here as well. To the town square. These guys are wavering, are taking a lot of damage, but they should be happy. Um, we've won. In the battle there, decisive victory. I'm happy with that. You did good. 239 losses, 1,111 kills. I destroyed the enemy forces there. Good use of the Sarmatian lancers flanking in the sides there. Oh, stabbed in the face. And we'll occupy. And these guys have gained some military traditions. Can replenish all the troops we lost there. Um, hmm. We could go for a siege expert actually, because we're probably going to be doing a lot of sieging lately. Notably, we're going to be attacking down here next. Take that port. Once we've claimed all these bits here, I need to change that over. But I don't have the architectural advantage advances. Uh, advances. Well, that's for this one anyway. To convert, we're just repairing here, which is fine. Culture is actually probably quite Hellenistic here already. Yep, that's good. Uh, so before I wrap up this part, we're just going to have that battle against Parthia. We're going to start the war there. Ready for battle. Start the war against the Parthians. Declare war. I'm joined by their, their allies have come to join them. But that's cool, we can bring that on. And this is Xerxes' Vengeance. So quite um, befitting that my Spartan, Spart Spartan, my Spartan force will fight off against Xerxes' vengeance. I am actually looking forward to um, is it three uh, three hundred the was it Dawn of an Empire or something like that? Not Dawn of an Empire. Is it that? Cool? What's the whatever the new three hundred film is that um, looks at the 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 large naval battle in that sort of series of wars. Um, I really do wish at the end of the first 300 film we'd manage to see a bit more of that battle that they all charge off to because that just looks awesome. Um, now I know you know not historically accurate, you know things like that, all the issues with it, but 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 for what it was, it was still a good action film, you know. And you know it's always a good film to watch with the girlfriend, especially if she likes Jared Butler, because essentially I can say that he's nearly naked for the whole film, and then she's suddenly really interested in watching it with me, which is absolutely fantastic. A uh, brilliant excuse to watch 300 whenever I like. Smashing. Good times. Right, uh, so we're going to get the cavalry. The thing is, these guys have all got gold um, upgrades on them. So we should actually do all right. I'm not actually too worried. Plus, I've got my lovely ballistas, as we, we all know how much I love them. I have my general here. My archers. I'm actually going to take them off skirmish mode because I'm going to have them behind my pike lines anyway. I'm just going to push forward with the pike lines to there. And then we're going to have these guys at an angle just so I can start off a flank straight away. And these are, yes, they've got a lot of uh, lot of cavalry. That's lovely. I have heard that rats do much the same. <laughs> Make sure they do not bite you. Fair enough. <laughs> Piggy boy, you want some of this? Lovely. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be watching out for their horse archers uh, in this battle. 
But uh, hopefully, my you know my own cavalry can draw them into an engagement. I like this map. This is an interesting map. We haven't fought on something like this before. Um, so it looks like they're not too keen on coming over to me, or they're going to go over to their reinforcements. So I'm going to come over slightly to meet them. May have to make my pikes a little bit thinner in that spread there, but we'll see. Push forward with the hoplites to defend the flank. Ballistas, we're going to need you to move forward to here. General there. And then that's everyone moving forward. It's good. We've got the cavalry moving up on the flanks here. Persian light archers. Persians! Come and get them. Oh dear. Yeah, I watched that. Watched that first battle scene from 300 recently. Good times. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't I think that's the problem with like, most people when you know they do go, ah, oh, it's how historically inaccurate. Even though, you know, as a historian, to my degree, I really enjoy films like that that aren't historically accurate sometimes because maybe it's just because I've kind of uh, really uh, <laughs> defined the switch that I just have in my head that can be switched off so that I don't give a crap about um, historical inaccuracies. Although I was watching, was it Pirates of the Caribbean the other day <laughs> with some friends and we were all commenting on, you know, various little things there. Oh dear, the life of a historian. Ruining movies for all your friends. <laughs> Good times. That would actually make quite a, probably a funny sketch, actually. Might have to do that at some point. So we've got their horse skirmishes over on the left here. And the majority of the army is going to form up here. And thankfully, because I've got the ballistas, I actually have kind of a decent counter to their horse archers. Rather than them skirmishing me, I skirmish them with my ballistas. And we're all good. So let's actually have a look at the ballista range. It's nowhere near where I need it. The ballistas are going to have to come quite a bit further forward over here. But I need to re reform with my men anyway. Along this sort of this sort of line here. Push in towards the corner. Bring my cavalry over to this side here. Possibly, you know, in an attempt to bring these horse archers over because um, in a charge situation, I think I might be able to have them. Personally, I might be able to have them with the gold weapons that I have, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. They're going to come towards me, or not? Or not? They're going to hold up there. But I'm going to leave my cav here for now because if my ballistas can get into position, hitting their horse archers is going to be a prime target. But already they're moving, and I'm not going to be able to get there in time. The horse archers are outflanking me and already attacking my units. If I can add a rapid advance onto these guys, that would be awesome. I'm not sure I'm going to get that opportunity though, so I'm going to need to move against these cavalry here. Because they're now flanking my my units here. And get my ballistas firing on these guys. I'm going to put explosive round on. In fact, we're going to do it onto these guys. Horse skirmishes. We're going to have to bring my general's bodyguard back. To try and get the blisters to fire over here against all the cavalry because they're gonna, well, they're just gonna tear through my ranks basically, and I don't have enough cavalry to charge them all. Well, let's engage these guys that have foolishly come towards me here. Meanwhile, let's charge, charge in here with my Spartan hoplites. They got mobs coming towards me. And the charge from my cavalry has already beaten these horse archers here, so I know I can do a relatively good amount of damage against them. And these guys just pulling up here are about to be hit by some explosive rounds, which is definitely going to hurt some horses. That looked incredibly painful, but also rather cool. Continue to push on here against the archers. Yes, yes, he is. I'm just hoping those ballista are definitely going to fire over him. Ballistas, you can continue moving forward now. Let's not worry too much about you. My cavalry over here. We can go against the foot archers. This unit of cavalry, I'm actually going to send up against these guys here. Unless my general can make it to them in a moment here, which they're about to do. Ooh, destroyed their horse archers here. 
my general can get round to the other ones we will but we've got cavalry incoming as well pikes trying to hold off these guys uh, the median cavalry but they have managed to flank me to a degree we'll have to flank them back pushing in across the troops now along the back I'm going to sweep down through the Persian light, light archers over here now. We've hit the next unit of cavalry and we're going to go for the Median cavalry because my general's bodyguard here will destroy the horse archers as they did the other unit. Turn off fire at will just in case they do get into position before I get to do anything. Get my general in against the Median cavalry if we can. Yes, come on. They have already gone. Kill as many of these guys as possible. because they will flee back to a settlement so we want to kill as many as possible here so we're going to continue got the huge amount of them here eastern slingers we want to try and bring all of them down before before battle is over we've got most of them there's only a few that's escaping the main clump is over here what I like to hear. Got another unit of cavalry going up here against these guys. See if my cavalry can catch up to these guys just in time. Unfortunately, in this mode, it seems like we can't actually go into cinematic cam. Oh, there we can. We, the button isn't there, but if you press insert, you still can. Just trying to ride these guys down. More cavalry behind me. Here we go. Not a, an amazing charge, to be honest, but just catching up to the enemy. And that's where we've let them run over the over the red barrier. Might be able to get these guys from atop the hill. Which are the mercenary hillmen which are absolutely shattered. My cavalry coming up the hill and these guys coming down the hill now. That should be rather awesome watching them as the sun on their back. Charging down the ranks. That's the charge. There we go. And the other cavalry come smashing in now. Well done men. A glorious victory indeed. I'll have teach taught uh, Xerxes vengeance. They'll not trouble us now. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed this part. Please do remember to comment, rate, subscribe, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and be sure to check out that Elves of Lorien part, which will be up very soon. Ciao for now.